Hello! Uh, I have now had my Ultimaker for a year. So I thought to make a video and show what things I have used it for during that year. Uh, here it is. Just printing something. And here is stuff like camera mounts for RC airplanes and I've designed quadcopters and printed. Those are totally 3D printed, even the arms is 3D printed. And here is more planes 3D printed. And here is my main quadcopter now. Legs 3D printed, GoPro mount 3D printed. And I should have a lot of parts here also, things 3D printed, yeah, like this. Uh, I've been experimenting with uh, window blinders, uh, it was a long time ago now. Uh, just take this thing here and from the blinds and put here now it's in and can use to turn up and down the blinds however these motors are really great, stepper motors from eBay. They are only about, I think you can get it for like two dollars, and uh, really good for projects. And you can get like very cheap control board for like two dollars. So also, so for four dollars, about you can get a motor and a controller for it and control it with Arduino and stuff. But it's like only five volts and it's not very strong so you have to have a lot of gearing so uh, what not good with it is take uh, take like 10 minutes to uh, unwind a blind here yeah and out here here is a thing that is 3d printed it's, uh, protection piece for my subwoofer because my son thought it was very funny to put toy cars in it and it makes it not sound so good uh, and here are some owls I printed from Thingiverse it's a little owl here is a this is no I think my highest resolution thing I printed. Uh, printed it with 0.05 millimeters layer height and it took like 19 hours to print. It turned out really good I think. Computers. Uh, and here is my aquarium I'm working on. Gonna be a lot of 3D printed stuff in that too also I think. Uh, and here in the hallway is also 3D printed stuff. In the lights here. Uh, the contact above them where... Where two large slide the rings over is 3D printed. And that here you see it better. That's 3D printed. And here is the kitchen. And this there's something 3D printed. Yes. That's 3D printed. Yeah, and here is the toilet. And here is also 3D printed parts. And 
these brackets here, 3D printed, that 3D printed, and uh, also the light is 3D printed because it wasn't anything here when we moved in, so I made a light cover. Everything here is 3D printed. This is uh, blue transparent PLA and here is black PLA and it's even has threads and I made it in SketchUp. just some of the parts I made and one of the latest thing I did is uh, on work we use a lot of tape but th this piece is missing on a lot of them so I just printed a few new so now the tape is usable again so I'm gonna bring it back to work and fix a lot of tapes there so, that's new yeah and here is some pictures of random stuff here's a calibration pyramid and here is the ultimate fans road and here is a model V8 engine and here is the Pink Panther woman and here is a GoPro and FPV camera mount and here is uh, name tags for boats in the boat club I'm with him and here is a quadcopter I printed in natural color PLA it's the PL2Q Hugin and here is a mount for the keychain camera so you can mount it on planes and stuff and here is a tiltable FPV camera mount for the DJI F450 quadcopter and here is part for an electrical panel in my boat and here it is in my boat and I also wanted a ventilation in my boat so I took a computer fan and made it fit a ventilation hose and here it is in my boat and since it's Christmas I also made some cookie cutters for my parents that are bikers and I had a friend that bought a cloth pressing machine that had a broken gear so I measured it and printed him a new one and it worked great yeah I'm always working on some cool project so please subscribe to my channel Goodbye, have a nice day.